Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So I know I look a little odd because I don't have any foundation on. I just have my eye makeup and brows on and that is for a good reason. The reason being that today I'm going to be doing a first impressions video. I'm basically trying out something brand, brand spanking new for the first time here on camera so you can see my honest reaction and opinion to it. It's going to be over the new Anastasia Beverly Hills skin I want to say skin stick foundation, but it's just the stick foundation. Anastasia Beverly Hills is a brand that definitely was just on the rise and they are booming right now. And I'm so happy that they came out with foundations. So when I saw that they were coming out with foundations, I already had my heart set on it. No questions asked. I was for sure going to be getting it just because it's Anastasia Beverly Hills, but because I have like a thing with foundations. I love foundations. So I haven't tried it at all. Just taken it out of the box and seen it. I have not actually tried it on my face yet. So I'm very very excited before I go into that I'll just show you guys that it just came in a regular box I got kind of like a big liquid lipstick box and how they usually label their liquid lipsticks here on the back so I got the shade warm ivory if it was one thing that was a little difficult it was to choose a shade because they did come out with quite a range of shades which is a good thing but it just makes it really difficult to try and the fact that I ordered it online so I wasn't there to see it in person but I tried my best what was really helpful is that they put up a whole bunch of different videos and a whole bunch of different posts on their Instagram account that kind of breaks down the color color ranges and I just kind of referred back to those and just tried to match myself as best as I could with their videos and tips so hopefully I did okay if not eh, you can usually work with it and I don't mind doing that so once out of the packaging it comes in a very sleek package and I just gotta say this now this really really does remind me of the um, Bobbi Brown skin stick foundation which is why I keep wanting to call this one skin stick foundation it looks exactly like this except it's gold and it says Bobbi Brown not Anastasia my skin is not primed I just have on like my skincare moisturizer and all that jazz so so I also don't really want to mess too too much with um, the primer so instead of going in with like a really fancy smashy primer and kind of attributing the application to the primer I'm just going to use my Nivea Men aftershave balm since this is basically what I do use on a daily basis anyway I feel very weird doing this uh, without like having expectations so I'm a little I don't know I don't know what to expect but I kind of like it at the same time all right, so as far as the application process, let's begin. <laughs> oh, I'm nervous. So like I said, with the other foundation, all I would do is just apply it directly to my skin. So that's what I'm going to do. I always started off with the cheeks first. Wow. Do you guys see that pigmentation? That was pretty pigmented. This does automatically, I can tell you guys right now, looks a lot more full coverage than the Bobbi Brown foundation just by that swipe. Um... The texture is pretty creamy, but not super creamy. So let's work with this first, and if we need to add on, we'll add on. I'm going to be using a foundation buffing brush to apply this and to blend this in. This is actually from Bobbi Brown. This is their full coverage face brush. And you guys know that I usually like to press in my foundation even when using a brush, but uh, with this brush and this type of foundation, I'm actually going to just kind of spread it a little bit here. I really don't think the color was all that bad of a choice because it looks pretty good once... Yeah, it does actually. I think it could have maybe gone a shade, like a tad darker or warmer, but I don't know, it seems to work. I feel like I have pretty neutral undertones anyway, so whether warm or cool, um, things just tend to kind of work out on my skin tone. Far as the so far as far as the finish it looks like a really natural finish I don't know if you guys can see I still have a slight sheen on my cheek but it's not super radiant but it's also uh, not matte so it looks like this is a natural skin finish not matte nor dewy coverage is pretty excellent coverage is like really good here like really good I'm gonna be careful around my brows since they're already done. I had like a little burn here because I did like a little wax strip on the side and uh, it irritated my skin. And you can see it didn't cover it completely, so it's not like super, super full coverage, but it's definitely, I would classify this as a medium to full because definitely I think if I were to go in with the second layer, this would just be like boom, super full coverage. All right, so. 
I don't really think I want to go in with a second layer because I actually like the coverage of this first layer. Anything, let's go over just that one little spot just to see if it really does seem to be buildable. And then, yeah, definitely buildable. Covered it. There you go. So, all right, so now it's all blended out, and I can tell you guys that it definitely, like I said, is a very natural finish. It's not dewy, but it's not super matte. It feels very light on my skin. I don't feel like I have foundation on. Um, there was no scent to it. It doesn't, it honestly doesn't really smell like anything whatsoever. Even though it's a stick, it was pretty easy to blend out, but keep in mind I'm oily. And I did have on moisturizer before, and I obviously primed, so I think that in conjunction made it uh, easier for me to blend out. I have a feeling, a slight feeling, that if maybe you are on the drier side and you don't take that extra step to just make sure your skin is a little bit hydrated before applying, this could probably be a really, really bad choice if you're super, super, super dry and you don't moisturize. I can just imagine that it'd be very hard to blend out, but the fact that, you know, my skin was already hydrated beforehand, and like I said, I'm oily. I feel like it made it easier to blend out. So I'm going to apply the rest of my makeup, and I will be right back and just show you guys exactly um, how everything else laid on top of it. And we'll give you the breakdown of what it says to claim on the website, and I'll compare it to how it went my first time. So we'll be right back. All right, I am back. My makeup is all on and finished. And um, throughout the whole process of completing the rest of my makeup, basically everything stayed the same. The foundation didn't break or separate or anything like that. And um, the finish still looks really, really natural. So I'm loving that a lot. So overall, right now, from my first time using it, I can honestly say I'm really, really pleased with it. And I'm actually really impressed. Um, not that anything that I've ever bought from Anastasia has really disappointed me, which I can honestly say I have not bought anything from the line that I wasn't happy with. So, um, just with that expectation in mind, um, I have to say that I'm not disappointed at all. So, so now that I have tried it, I can honestly say I liked it, especially for it being the first time I use it. Um, hopefully, you know, after the next couple of times, nothing changes, but if it does, then... I'll definitely be able to let you guys know whether it be on here or on Instagram or Snapchat, either way. Now that I've tried it, I'm going to go ahead and um, read to you what it says on their website as far as what it promotes to do. So on their website on AnastasiaBeverlyHills.com, it says that the foundation is a highly pigmented buildable cream formula that leaves a natural matte finish. Apply Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Foundation as an all-over foundation sheared out as a tinted moisturizer or for highlighting and contouring. It's available in 26 shades, which is a lot, and its lightweight tubes are perfect for travel and on-the-go touch-ups, ideal for combination or oily skin, a shade for all skin tones. So one of the things that I can just say I would automatically kind of not really argue with, but... I will say that the natural matte finish, I guess I can see the natural part in the natural matte, you know, wording, but as far as matte, I really don't want to classify it as matte because it definitely, I have used foundations that are super matte and this one, this one wasn't really matte. I really would just stick to it being called natural. Of course, if you're on the drier side, then this probably will be very matte for you. Um, and I do like that ha that they did disclose that this was ideal for combination or oily skin as I told you guys as I was putting it on that it seems that this would be best for that skin type, maybe not so much for drier skin. But it does lead me to believe that as long as you are able to moisturize your skin very well, maybe mix in a face oil with it or something, if you are dry, you should be able to use this. And also, I like the fact that you can use these for highlighting or contouring. I would think that this would make it a lot easier for you. And of course, the packaging is very travel friendly. So everything on here seems to be pretty spot on. Like I said, I would only... I would kind of only argue with the finished part, but again, that's probably just depending on your skin type. Oh, and it retailed for $25. I don't know if I said that already. I'm not sure if and when these are going to be available at their um, shops as far as like Macy's and Sephora and Ulta, although I'm pretty sure since it's a permanent line item, something limited edition, they will have to be put in stores eventually. Um, right now, I just bought mine off their website, so... 
that's where you can find it for sure, I know that. But that's pretty much all I have to say about this foundation. For the first time use, I give it a big thumbs up. Hopefully that stays true or continues to be as I continue to use it. But yeah, if you guys got the foundation, if you tried it yourself, let me know down below. If you have any questions, I will do my best to try to get back to you and answer them. I'm gonna be try I'm gonna try to be super diligent with answering back comments because I feel like I have slacked on that so much. If I haven't said that lately, I'm just gonna say it again. Um, and I really am disappointed in myself that I haven't been able to keep up with comments here on YouTube. Um, I just fall short of that. So I'm going to do my best to make sure I'm interacting with you guys as well through the comments. I always try my best to reply to you on Twitter and Snapchat and Instagram as well. But Instagram also kind of gets pushed back to the back burner as far as replying to comments. But I don't want it to be like that. So definitely I'm going to do my best to kind of keep up with communicating with you guys because staying connected with you all is what helps me get new ideas for my channel. And yeah, without you, I wouldn't have a channel. So if you guys like this video, let me know what you think down below and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.